Hey everyone, I'm Lane and welcome to Techno Maverick. Today I'm going to be showing you some amazing tips and tricks for using Windows 10. Now I do want to mention that some of these features have been here since Windows 7 and even earlier than that, but the fact remains that most people still do not know about these features. First up is a feature that originally Microsoft called Arrow Shake. It gives you the ability to minimize all of the windows that are open except the one that you want. All you have to do is grab onto the title bar of whatever window you have open and then shake it, everything else will minimize. Did you know you have the ability to send text messages with Cortana? That's right, that feature is there whether you have a Windows phone or an Android phone with Cortana installed. My last video went over 12 different tricks and shortcuts for Cortana, so if you wanna learn more about those, I suggest checking that out next. This is a feature that's been in Windows for a long time, but it's something that still a lot of people do not know. It's the extended right-click menu. Now, normally you would right-click something if you wanna get more options as far as how you want to interact with that. If you hold down the shift key and then right click, you're going to get a couple of more options depending on what you click on. Now this doesn't work absolutely everywhere throughout the OS. It really depends on that application that you're using and the specific item that you're clicking on. Let's talk about a couple of additional mouse tricks. The scroll wheel that you have on your mouse is not just a scroll wheel, but it's actually a third button. And that middle button actually has some very special features depending on what application you're using. If you're using an internet browser or a file explorer, for example, and you have it open in your taskbar, if you click the middle button on your mouse uh, on that item on the taskbar, it's actually gonna go ahead and open up a new window. So if you're using Microsoft Edge, for example, this is probably the fastest way to open up a new window. Speaking of web browsers, if you're using any web browser and you middle click a link, it's going to open that link in a new window. Additionally, if you middle click on a tab, it's going to go ahead and close that specific tab. Now, if you mix this with the shift button, so if you hold down the shift key and try middle clicking things, you're gonna find there's some very interesting shortcuts. The start menu is a nice place to get to apps quickly, the ones that you use most frequently, but a lot of people actually go ahead and pin their apps to the taskbar to get to them even more quickly. Now, if you'd like to keep your hands on the keyboard as often as possible, you can actually pin apps to the taskbar and launch them with a neat little keyboard shortcut. If you hold down the Windows key and the number corresponding with the location of where that app is pinned on the taskbar, it's going to go ahead and launch that app. For instance, if I only had one application pinned to the taskbar and I held down Windows key and pressed one, it would go ahead and launch that one app that's pinned there. If I pinned a second app and then held down Windows key and two, it would launch the second app. The mail app in Windows 10 is actually pretty impressive. I find it very nice to use. I actually prefer to use it over the Outlook 2016 application, but it doesn't serve up notifications when emails come in, at least not by default. That is a feature that you can enable by going into settings, options and then scrolling down to the bottom you should then see a option there to show those notifications in the action center and then there are two different options to enable sound and a notification banner in windows it's always been very difficult to get to special characters and accents so if you want to type out the word resume for example and you're using microsoft word finding the correct accent character for the letter e might take you a few minutes depending on how familiar you are with that. Fortunately, since Windows 8.1, this hasn't actually been a problem. Now, if you don't use a touch screen device, you may not know that there is a very nice on-screen keyboard built into Windows 10. If you right click on the taskbar and then choose the option to show that touch keyboard, you can actually just go ahead and click on that icon, press and hold on the letter E, and then select the correct accent. Now, this will work for a number of different letters, Virtually any accent character that you need to use, you're gonna be able to find in that keyboard. I have another video coming up in this series that's going to introduce you to some more tricks and shortcuts for Windows 10. So be sure to hit the subscribe button you see on the screen now if you wanna see that. 